Hey guys, Jonah here. We're back in the land of Holland, and this one's very interesting. Um, you probably saw this on the uh, unboxing video. It's uh, this one, Vice Weissen, um, and it's post Postat and Cater. Um, or it would be if we get a bit of focus on there. Postat. Postjet and Geta, Burej, Vice Weissen. And this is very, very interesting. Um, barefoot Beats Boots, it says here. Uh, ingredients water, bit of wheat, barley hops, kaffir lime, mm, and yeast. So, what this is, is, so I'm led to believe. A Hefeweizen, which is absolutely one of my favourite beers. I love a nice Hefeweizen. Um, but it's got kaffir lime leaves in it. Um, or actually leaves, or maybe the juice. Uh, kaffir lime anyway. Um, yeah, I imagine it's, well, I don't know. We'll find out, I guess, um, to give it a little bit of a lemony edge. And um, yeah, we have this lovely lady, as we saw on the bottle not sure exactly what she's doing she's holding some whoops some malt over there some wheat i think and she's got some sort of fork so she's some gardening gardening lady i guess um and the only whoa the only glass as it pees over my hand that i thought would do this justice it's a blue moon glass but i turned that sideways on um yeah a bit sort of fruity in the can so this is gonna have probably quite a head on it let's go reasonably slowly and i can't remember how strong this one is um, let me consult the can again i usually am pretty good at doing that as part of my preamble but um yeah unfortunately i didn't today there we go let me see. Uh, 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 uh. It, it does not say at all. Oh, yes, it does. In very, very small print over there. Four and a half. And it even tells us that this is a 330 uh, mil can. Pregnant women can't drive, it says. Um, and this is a brewery, again, out of Amsterdam, which is kind of cool, which is why I've got my uh, my little clog in the background. But we didn't need it today because this, obviously, um, is a canned beer. So it's a Weissen. So basically a bit of haze in there. It's not 100% hazy. It's not juice like milk juice you can just about see my fingers through it but it is quite a hazy beer um let's call that half a finger's head yes and i'm getting that nice um sort of lager like well it's not like that it's it's the hefeweizen yeast which is special yeast which you can actually purchase should you want to try and imitate Hefeweizen's or Hef's. Very difficult to get right. Temperature control and yeast cell count is really, really important with a nice Hef. Cheers and beers. I think this is going to be a good one. Now, that is interesting because the lime is not that prominent. So it's probably only a very small amount. Up front, we're getting that kind of yeastiness, which is, um, yeah, that's absolute classic Hef kind of stuff. Uh, I believe the hops in here are Hallertauer. Um, so quite a, just a, just a regular normal hop for this style of beer, for a kind of lagery type beer. Um, for European styles, yeah, definitely. Um, whoa. 
that is very, very silky smooth. Yeah, it's all about that yeast character. The lime, if there is any, it, it, I don't know if you used to do this, um, but, and I never used to, but I know that lager and lime is an actual thing, or a lime top, or whatever you call it, where you fill up your pint, well, it is in the UK, fill up your pint to about there, and then top it off with lime cordial, um, or sometimes a uh, lemonade or lime, lemon and lime, something like that, just to get a bit of sweetness in there. This doesn't get anywhere close to that. It is so light, and there's a tiny bit of residual sweetness, which I imagine is probably from the malt. Um, and yeah, that wheat in there makes it really, really smooth. I think probably, as I've said before, I prefer oats, I think, but wheat does something to a bit. I mean, it obviously makes it a little bit hazy, a little bit cloudy, which is good. Um, but it does also make some really, really nice mouthfeel and just ultimate smoothness. And the lime, whether it's leaves or a little bit of juice, or maybe chopped up limes, who knows? I mean, there is a tiny bit of kind of juiciness, but it's so much in the background, it's, it's hard to pick it up. That is an absolutely lovely beer from Amsterdam. Next time I go to Amsterdam, um, instead of going into all these dens of iniquity, I might try and seek, seek out some uh, some nice places. We've had Oedipus. We've got these guys <laughs> who have trouble pronouncing. If you know how to pronounce it, let me know. But I reckon Postyat, Postyat and Cater. Damn it, Cater. They're catering for me very nicely. Anyway, guys. This is a slightly short one today, um, but they can't all be epics um, like Ben-Hur. There's been Uncle Jonah. Please do me a favour and click like down below. It really does help me out. And um, yeah, we'll be back in Holland real soon. And uh, yeah, I think the link is going to be Holland because I haven't got many more beers uh, from this brewery. And I've got a couple of singles as well. I have got a couple of doubles coming up, but um, yeah, we'll see where we get to. They're all from Holland. <laughs> Guys, see you real soon. And uh, yeah, remember, drink loads of beer because it makes you smart like.